welcome back to my channel. So I was thinking, Adopts Me updates every single December for the Christmas update for a lot of years now. Ever since 2017, we've been having a Christmas update every single year. So I thought it'd be really cool to see how the Christmas update has changed over the years. 2017 all the way to 2022, which is this update. <laughs> I only joined in 2019, so I only came for the 2019 update, the 2020 update, the 2021, and of course the 2022 update, but not the ones before that. So I don't actually know how they're going to be like, so we're going to be doing a blind reaction to them. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin. However, before we get started, if you guys see your dream pet in my inventory, all you have to do is like, subscribe, comment down below your username or your dream pet. Make sure to have your your joins on so I can join you and give you your pet that you commented down below. If you can't have your joins on then just send me a friend request. My username is xsunnyxmistyx. And as it is Christmas I am doing a huge Christmas giveaway where all you have to do is select one pet from my Christmas inventory and I will join you and give it to you. Welcome to December 2017. This is a very very different looking Adopt Me. This is not the Adopt Me I know right now. As you can see the map is different, the buildings are different but it is in winter time and it is a christmas update which i don't really see much christmasy off apart from the fact it's just really cold and wintry guys i did do further research and i realized that this was just a winter time update it wasn't really a christmas update and the only christmasy thing about this was it was winter time that was literally it but let's just appreciate how 2017 adopt me looked like Honestly, I'm going to rate this update a 1 out of 10 because there was nothing Christmassy about it. Maybe Adopt Me didn't want it to be Christmassy or anything, but we're trying to judge it and rate it by Christmassy looks and Christmassy updates. So this is definitely a 1 for me. By the way, I got this video from Jenny Simmer's channel, so make sure to check out her channel as well as the video. I'll link them both down below. Now let's move on to 2018. I'm already absolutely in love with the homepage. It is so cute. In the description section, it says new updates 12 of the 24th new gift 20 new items and gifts santa throws free massive gifts and money and it also says new legendary bunny carriage disappears in a few days now actually if you don't already know the bunny carriage can now be bought with the robux but at that time around 2018 it was actually brand new and very very popular sadly you can't get it out of gifts anymore but honestly i'm really excited to see how this update went wow look how cool this map looks this looks absolutely crazy oh what's this santa's christmas gift drop is happening in two minutes would you like to go that's pretty crazy and i'm guessing this kind of is related to this little present sign on the screen with the little countdown i'm guessing inside the gifts are these items on the christmas gift board but we will find out guys look at the crazy presents in the gift board there's a snowflake potion a teleportation potion as well as some more crazy things and i'm pretty sure at this time it wouldn't be worth that much but now it's worth like good mega legendaries in 2022 Guys, it's saying Santa's dropping gifts now and as you can see, people are actually holding their gifts and I'm thinking they're going to open them and everything. These are really cool and it kind of looks like this one right over here. And to buy these gifts, I think you have to pay bucks, so I'm guessing you're going to get free gifts from Santa, I guess, which is pretty cool. In the screen down below, it says, you found coal. Santa drops rare gifts if you are lucky. And look, there's coal right over here. And what's this green thing over here? Is she going to go up to that? Oh, it's money. It's a money bag, which gives you one buck okay i mean if you like collect lots of these you will be rich like seriously whoa guys look how big her gift is oh i feel bad for this poor girl santa's not giving her any gifts so she's gonna have to buy her own gift i hope she gets something good maybe she can get the bunny pack carriage or something oh a snowflake potion it's uncommon so she probably thinks it's bad but guys oh my god this is literally gonna be so rare if she trades it right now if you were always wondering what a snowflake potion does this is what it does it just gives you snowflake effects and particles when you walk around look and santa claus is literally dropping all the gifts for you as well oh my god it's santa but he looks a bit different guys i think she's trying to catch on to santa's sleigh to see if she can get some free presents and look santa's literally throwing everything coal money i see no gifts but coal money a lot of that 
Look, do you see that? He just threw a big gift. Now she's going to go and get this gift. Let's see what she actually gets. Do these gifts have some good things? Or are these just the gifts in the gift stand? Let's see what she gets. So she ended up finding a snowman plush, which you can literally get in the gift stand. By the way, this video was from Pretzel Etzel. So I'll link her channel down below as well as this video if you'd like to watch it. But guys, this was some sick update. I'm honestly going to have to give this an 8 out of 10. I seriously love it. Definitely, definitely much better than the 2017 update. So yeah anyways let's move on to the 2019 update which i definitely remember clearly by the way the video we'll be reacting to belongs to leah ash so i'll leave her channel as well as the video down below Ooh, okay so you're starting off strong with our lovely reindeer riding that we could make lots of gingerbread from welcome to stand stabled choose a reindeer to begin flight training and look how cute these reindeers are they're so adorable so leah picked the main character rudolph good choice i would too so as you can see look how many gingerbreads you could have got like seriously if you collected all of them i'm pretty sure and each one is worth 10 so i'm pretty sure you could at least get like 2000 3000 from this and i think this was the first year they actually introduced the advent calendar so that's pretty cool at the top of the calendar is a reindeer oh my god i remember these these were so cute and of course we have the christmas drop and just guys look what's inside look how cool it is so as you can see there's christmas gifts there's a sand sleigh which you could get out of the christmas gifts there's an ice queen sleigh and a normal sled so obviously the sand sleigh was the rarest there was a christmas gift which gave you a less chance to get a legendary but there was also this golden gift which gave you a huge chance of getting a legendary as well as some toys that you could get out of the gift so honestly the gifts were like the main things and the main reason you would save so much gingerbread for and these gifts were actually pretty expensive i can't lie and out of the golden gift most of the time a golden gift sometimes the normal gift but most of the time the golden gift you could get out a christmas egg and from these christmas eggs then you would hatch them and you would get one of these pets over here the most legendary was obviously the arctic reindeer obviously you guys know that there was a frost dragon in this update as well for a thousand robux and the main thing in this update was it was pay to win you had to have robux for this update because most people didn't really have that much robux or they were quite poor at that time they couldn't actually afford any of this and they had to work really really hard it took them days to get enough gingerbread for the golden gift barely anybody could buy the frost dragon look so the golden gift is 4300 and you got a christmas egg legendary wow guys look at the gingerbread for some reason the gingerbread is actually displayed a little bit differently see we don't actually have these designs and when you bump into the penguin did you see that it literally like um completely separates as you can see now the gingerbread is a little bit different like it's displayed a little bit differently and whenever you bump into a penguin you just talk to it for one second instead of uh, making all your gingerbread go like boom and look guys you could even find these ornaments that you would then put in your tree which is in your house so you would get a free tree where then you would put your ornament on and it would give your christmas tree some spirit and then santa would come in the night and give you presents depending on how much the spirit was see she just put it on her tree and it gained 15 christmas spirit i remembered this update and honestly my opinions on it was i loved it so much however it definitely was a pay to win so i am gonna give it an 8 out of 10 but actually i would give it a 9 out of 10 but since it's a pay to win and i couldn't really afford most of it i'm gonna be giving it an 8 out of 10 let's move on to the 2020 christmas update this video is from jeffo i'll link his youtube channel as well as the video down below so the 2020 update was a really nice little ice castle place and the theme was definitely blue so jeffrey right now is going inside this little christmas shop not really little it's definitely very very big and as you can see there's some new pets in the christmas shop however the values aren't that high of these pets for example the snow owl the frost fury i don't know some pets like that look at this 800 robux frost fury this was the main pet of the game just like last year they also had a gingerbread ice skating place and this time they actually introduced the golden penguin speedy and their little um racing track thingy so to get some gingerbread you could actually help these snowmen out and if you helped five of them there was only five by the way you would get 500 gingerbread now we are reacting to i am Santa's video and basically this is one of the mini games called feeding frenzy mini game and basically you would get some gingerbread from this and this was the only mini game and by the way there was no advent calendar this year so that was pretty sad you could also get a snow launcher by digging up these presents and i'm pretty sure you would also get some gingerbread from this as well 
Honestly, after the 2019 update being so good, I was not really a big fan of this update. So I'm going to give it like a 4 out of 10 because it didn't have an advent calendar, which is pretty sad. And I didn't really like the pets either. But let's move on to the next year, which is 2021. We are reacting to Kristen Play's video. I'll leave her video and the channel down below. So the main pet this year was a pet ice golem for a thousand robux. Oh my gosh. So you're basically telling me this is basically kind of worth the frost dragon i don't think so because the way it looked definitely did not look like it was worth the frost dragon so for the third time in a row they decided to bring back ice skating and this was basically a christmas village look how lovely it looks oh my god it looks really cool and this was a little shop that they had as you can see she's trying to get inside the doors but i don't think there was anything in there but here are the pets so obviously we have the ice girl and a husky a puffin a snow leopard um those were pretty cool honestly but you know they were they could have been better we also had the walrus boxes and that's pretty cool i guess sadly these pets aren't really that valuable they also had some cool vehicles some cool toys and they brought back the advent calendar that's so cool and on the 25th day i think you could have got a saint bernard which is so adorable the only way you could get gingerbread was by ice skating so seriously that update was not that good i didn't really like it overall i'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10 i know i'm pretty harsh but it's just my honest opinion i got bored of that update pretty quickly because there was barely anything to do but those were the different updates of the years now we are going to move on to this update the 2022 update however it's not complete yet so i honestly can't give my final decision but i will show you what we have right so far well, obviously we have ice skating and the whole map is decorated in pink. It's kind of like strawberry themed this year, I think, mainly because of the strawberry bat dragon. And look how different it looks compared to the normal bat dragon. Honestly, it's meant to be similar, but it, it doesn't seem that similar. A mini game that is here so far, this is not the only mini game, by the way, is a snowball fight and the mini games are down over here. The pets are definitely very, very good. However, there are more pets to come. And there is also an advent calendar this year. I really like this year's update and it's probably one of my favorites and I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. So that means it is time with the 2019 update because honestly I really like the 2019 update too. But comment down below what your favorite update was. Anyways that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys tomorrow in day 4. Bye everybody!